Sir Walter Henry, graduate from Princeton, Masters from Oxford University. My bachelor degree is in Postelian literature, and actually, I was knighted by Postelian himself. Oh, hello! My name is Dr. Amelie Hendricks. I graduated and got my master's degree from Stanford University with a major in British literature, emphasis on conquistadors. I am Dr. Cecilia Goldman. I graduated from Harvard and had a master's and doctorate from Cambridge with an emphasis on historical narration of South America. Seems like a normal baby, doesn't it? But in fact, you're wrong. That is actually Ponce de Leon, with his eyes gazing into his future as a conquistador. Juan Ponce de Leon was born in the northern part of Spanish province, Valladolid. His genealogy was somewhat unknown, but it is rumored that he is part of a very famous noble family of Spain. Once Ponce de Leon grew up, he looked abroad for, his, for opportunities to use his military services. He was a member of Columbus's second expedition with Hispaniola as their destination. In 1502, about nine years after Ponce de Leon and Columbus's crew, the newly appointed governor, Nicolas Oviando, arrived in Hispaniola. His directive from the Spanish crown was to bring order to the colony, which was in disarray. One of Oviando's priorities was to complete the conversion of the native Tainos. In 1504, when a small Spanish garrison was overrun by the Tainos in Higüey, on the eastern side of the island, Ponce de Leon was assigned a major role in crushing this rebellion. Ovando must have been impressed with Ponce de Leon, as he appointed him frontier governor of the new province, Higüey. Ovando also gave him a substantial land grant along with sufficient Indian labor to farm his new estate. The Tainos described Puerto Rico as rich, fertile land with gold to Ponce de Leon. He was given permission by Ovando to search the island. After his successes, he was appointed governor of San Juan Bautista, a.k.a. Puerto Rico. Rumors of undiscovered islands in the northwest of Puerto Rico came about, and Ponce de Leon agreed to look for them. They were called the Islands of Benemy, where supposedly the waters of Benemy, a.k.a. the Fountain of Youth, existed and this fountain would cure his aging. He left Puerto Rico in search of the fountain on March 4, 1513, and sailed past the Bahamas on Easter Sunday, then hit Florida for the first time on April 2, 1513. He named it La Florida. He and his crew went back and forth between different parts of Florida until they reached mainland. Although he failed in his findings of the islands of Benemy, after several months in Florida, Ponce de Leon returned home to Puerto Rico, only to find turmoil throughout the country. He sailed back to Spain to personally report his findings before anybody else could claim it, where it was received with a coat of arms. He was credited and given rights to settle and govern the islands of Florida, and was ordered to organize the Armada to subdue the Caribbean. Ponce de Leon's last expedition was organized in 1521. The colonists were attacked soon after they hit shore by the natives, and he was injured by an arrow poisoned with sap. After this attack, Ponce de Leon and his crew sailed to Havana, Cuba, where he would soon die of the wind. <laughs> Bomber. He was buried in Puerto Rico. I please ask you to have a moment of silence for Ponce de Leon's life. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, what up, Grab girl? my glasses, I'm out the door. I'm gonna hit this city Let's before go. I leave. Brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. Cause when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. I'm talking pedicure on our toes, toes. Trying on all our clothes, clothes. Boys blowing up our phones, phones. Stop, make it. 